I'm with Joe Maddalena, and one of the articles I did this past week uh, was with regards to the issue that came up with Universal Vintage Horror Posters, which I don't know a lot about, and he actually had some information that um, I thought would be useful to readers of the original prop blog to talk about the issue a little bit and these posters and, and what people can um, look for. Um, yeah, there's been a, um, a rash of uh, fakes that have come onto the market that originated in Georgia, and we now have identified who made them, and there's an ongoing uh, criminal investigation, and hopefully in the next you know, months or so, this individual and his associates will go to jail. Um, it, they're very easy to identify now, and what we recommend um, people doing is John Davis at Poster Mountain now has devised a system where all these posters are being authenticated. This is an original Dracula one sheet from 1931. There are three in the world. This is the only one that's ever come up at auction. Um, um, John Davis has taken this poster. It's been put on a massive light box and photographed and all, any and all restoration, which is very minimal in this poster, is disclosed. Then they did a complete forensic examination of the paper um, because the fakes are basically are inkjet copies. Somebody took uh, original posters and would scan them into a computer. They'd make an inkjet copy and then airbrush them. So the whole poster was paint. Once you remove the airbrushing underneath, they're inkjet copies. So it's not the most, um, you know, they're easy to spot in two seconds once you know what you're looking for. So this is a, a stone with a stone with a. Um, and what John Davis at Poster Mountain now, um, all real posters are going to have his cartouche. These are tagged with a specific DNA. So. You know, again, with all of this stuff, we're all kind of going through the process now of, you know, learning, you know, about, you know, potential frauds. Um, but for significance, this is one of the greatest movie posters uh, that's ever been sold um, with a full forensic report from John Davis at Poster Mountain. Again, the estimate's two to $300,000. I'm sure all you eBayers out there, if you go to eBay and type in Dracula and highest prices first, you'll see that there's a person out there that has the other one of these who has it for sale for 950000 and he has it on every week, 52 weeks a year, you'll find it on eBay for 950000 It's not this poster, but it's one just like this, so it's the other one of the three. So at two to $300,000, this should be a bargain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you.